August 27, 2018, joint press release. Uh, women's solidarity with upper region and we for she crusader Liberia. Fellow Liberians, distinguished members of the National Working Group against FGM, members of the Full Estates, ladies and gentlemen. Barely two weeks to the commencement of academic activities in Liberia, over 100 Potential school age boys are currently in the Sunny Bushes undergoing female genital mutilation in neighbor county, specifically in Sekempa, Nempa, and Zulong. As for, as you may be aware, the 2011 educational law of Liberia prohibits all forms of practices that serve as mayhem to the child's education and survival, which includes the practice of FGM. Furthermore, on January 19, 2018, an executive order number 92 was passed by former President Eddie Johnson Lee, further prohibiting and criminalizing the practice of female genital mutilation done on a person below 18 years. Interestingly, in assurance of government fullest compliance to human rights best practices, on July 19, 2018, the government of Liberia, through the Ministry of Justice, amongst other things, showed the word of its commitment to address issues of FGM in Liberia. Based on said commitment made by the government, a concluding observation on Liberia were done by the RCCPR, of which recommendations number 23 and 20. 22 and 23 call on the government of Liberia to legislate permanent law and put in place all mechanisms without delay to end the practice of FGM in Liberia in compliance to international best practice. This gross violation by the traditionally contravenes all national, regional, and international instruments or conventions that Liberia is a signatory to such as the AU Protocol on Human and People's Rights on the Rights of Women in Latin Africa and the Universal Declaration of Human and People's Rights. Their action further undermines the Education Law of 2011 and the Executive Order No. 92, through which the government pledged to uphold all positive practices. Government Library is fully aware that the practice of FGM has no medical significance, but rather poses grave health difficulty to beneficiaries. So, why must their practice supersede girls' access to education? Let it be noted that the practice of female genital mutilation is a total human rights violation which doesn't only contravene human dignity. We wish to he effectually state that the action on the part of those traditionalists is unacceptable and totally undermines the realization of the sustainable development goal and the gain made by the government in the protection and promotion of human rights in affirmation to Article 5B of the Liberal Constitution. Federal Liberians, we can further state that the traditional leaders to have enrolled over 100 school age boys into the Sandy Butches prior to the reopening of school is due to the lack of monitoring mechanism put in place by the Ministry of Internal Affairs to regulate cultural activities in Liberia as well as to enforce penalties and fines on those practitioners that willfully violate government's regulation. Due to the weakness on the part of the government through the Ministry of Internal Affairs to regulate activities of the culture has given traditional leaders the leverage to escalate the practice of FGN now in 11 counties of Liberia, the newest being Grand Gideon County. Considering the human rights and the future of those children, Women's Solidarity Incorporated and he for she crusader Liberia asked the government of Liberia to ensure 
that the rights of those children are restored within 72 hours.